the first smells, the first feel, the sun hitting the skin. It is a perfect time of day. Oh, it's always a special moment coming out of the airport into a new place. It's not a new country, but it is a brand new state, Karnataka. I've never been here before. And look at the vehicle that we have. We're going straight to the first taste of India right now. Welcome to Southern India. With such a line like that, with such an opener, how can I even follow up? So we're in Karnataka. This is a special place, of course, a place that uh, you might just dream of visiting for years of life. India is still just such a special place. And how to describe the very first few hours in a place like this. We arrived about 12 hours ago in Bangalore, and then we took a secondary flight here to Mangalore, is how you say in English. And this place, it is just an amazing display, rich in language, in local culture. Of course, not even to talk about all the food that we are going to have here. This place is famous for fish, specifically fish fry, which is coming up. That's what we're having for lunch today. But right now, I just want to try and uh, just say a few poetic words just to put into perspective how excited I am to be here in Karnataka. I think India, above all, is just the most beautiful place it evokes an emotional response. There's some kind of aspect of harmony going on. When I really use this word beautiful to describe India, the obvious exotic visual displays you can see here are like nowhere else in the world. But just the, the fascination that India will hold, especially, like I said, to people who travel all over the world. India is just special. It is just such a beautiful place. I'm so happy to be here. Welcome to Mangaluru. So for breakfast at the KT Hotel, this area is popular for breakfast. You get out on the highway, and so it kind of has that kind of like road trip fun breakfast. It's very early in the morning, and so the crowd here, they are usually on their way to work or definitely on some kind of trip, and we're underneath this brand new highway. So in the future, maybe on the next trip, we'll be able to smoothly go from Mangalore all the way back to Bangalore. This trip, it's gonna take us about 10, maybe 12 hours. But our friend said, maybe when the highway is finished, it'll cut the time in half. Anyways, you might miss out on a lot of gems like this. The KT Hotel, it just has all the things that I miss of early morning breakfast time in India. The transportation is going on, and inside the restaurant, the smells are just incredible. We're gonna go in the kitchen also and see a few of the recipes, and I have uh, already one dish. I really wanna know how they prepare it. It's in a jackfruit leaf, which I've never seen used before. The tea, the, uh, the, the spicy sambals that you have with some dosa, it's just great. Breakfast here looks amazing. View and then here, the team, the deep frying and the griddle top. It's just high action. It's hot in here. It smells great in here. So once you have it, the entire system will get pulled up. My God. It tastes best with curd. I just want to see if Mike can. Mike, I try it. It's a little spicy, but. Uh, I want it, I want it, uh, So we just have an absolute delicious looking spread right here. We have the idli, this is the rice based, steamed, very unique, uh, actually originating in Kerala. Eaten rice with some curd, so interesting. That over there, that this is the pumpkin. Pumpkin. Uh, this is curry on the side, actually. Okay. Some coconut sambal. 
got some beans. I don't even know what's over there, but I'm assuming ghee is part of that dish. And then the delicious looking tea. Okay, okay, but something just gonna be my first time to try this as well. The rice has a crunch to it and a little bit of a chewiness to it. And when third goes into it, it becomes more soft. So many dishes on the table, but this one just looks incredibly unique. Just from the look, it almost is like a like a bowl of cornflakes if gravity was suspended, somehow flipped upside down. <laughs> the milk is on the top. So I think there's a little bit of sugar in the curds, just a little bit. And so with that sweetness added, it is a complete flavor package because the other bit is crunchy, crispy, salty. Actually, that is one of the more incredible breakfast foods I've ever had, actually. Dude, and the spicy builds. It's a, it is, it is spicy. Yeah. Okay, now we have these three things, right? Maybe we just quickly try these. Yeah. So many amazing dishes on this table to try. But the final one, steamed in a jackfruit leaf. I've never seen a jackfruit leaf used in cooking. Jackfruit is my favorite fruit, but the leaf is useful too. Look at the consistency. The texture looks so unique. I think there are no spices in there. They're just relying on just the jackfruit leaves to kind of give some flavor. Oh, it's dense. Look at that, can pick it up. Okay, let's go for a dip. Let's try this pumpkin, pumpkin sambar over here. Real quick before it disintegrates. I just realized in Kenya, we eat ugali which is even more dense. But I just realized dipping ugali in curry would be incredible. This reminds me of ugali, just the, the wonderful heaviness, so stodgy. The point is just to fill your stomach in the morning so you can work hard in the day, but I never really thought of it as a delicious way to start the day. But with some coconut-based simple curries like this, let's try the other one. I actually like the pumpkin one more, but the coconut never fails, especially in southern India. Yeah, I love watching. Professional. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. This afternoon, we're doing something totally different. We are starting with dessert. Havas is a famous place for ice cream, and in Mangalore, people say you cannot visit Mangalore without visiting Havas. So apparently, it's not just famous here, it's famous throughout all of India. So how cool is that? One of India's most famous ice creams. So I love traveling with Mark. It's one of my favorite things to do ever. Visiting places, especially a place like India, but visiting new places together, it's just one of my favorite things in my whole life. It is always a privilege, and the best part is we are always so well received. We are just so lucky, so blessed. So I want to give 
give back and I want to be an example of positivity. I want to try and carry the light, the love of Jesus into all the places that, that we get the privilege of visiting. This afternoon, we're going to continue to eat a lot of tasty street food, but right now, starting with a little break, we're going to go have some ice cream. Let's see you inside. explanation needed for this. Who doesn't love ice cream? I got some almond flavored ice cream. It looks awesome. Mm. Yeah, it is warm beer. Ice cream melts quick. I'll just get after it. Mm. So, in the past, I've had the privilege of helping Mark organize a few trips, and I've learned a lot from Mark about how to organize a great trip. But you know, in the end, both of us, we are still visitors, so we are so lucky to be helped out. We're so lucky to be recognized and just cheered on by a lot of beautiful people in India. We're so lucky to meet guys like our friend Martin here and even friends of friends. Martin is friends with our friend Evan. Evan stands by his friend Martin. He said Martin's going to show you a great time in Mangalore. So we have a big thank you to say to Martin. And I'm very excited to see what street foods Martin is going to introduce to us right here in Bangalore coming up very soon. Martin, we had so much fun together. Thank you for your expertise sharing just a smile all the places we go. It's been fun and the fun is just getting started. You can find some of Martin's projects actually on a much bigger channel than my own. The best food review ever. Has a, best ever food has a new channel. If you're familiar with that one, they have India only. This guy is a big part of that new channel. So check it out. Enjoy. Another of my famous parts of a visit to India. Just cup after cup of milk tea, chai tea, masala tea, just like this. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, you know, a uh, trip to India, you're going to think, oh, you're going to eat a lot of rice and curry. And that is wonderfully true. However, Coming from the West, moving to Asia, many of my friends from the West say, Joel, don't you miss things like cheese? And I really don't. However, this might blow your mind. India is a place for cheese and milk lovers. They have the most fresh milk, buffalo milk, curds, all kinds of milk and cheese products. It's just incredible. And this milky masala tea for me is one of my favorites, but we've been having just, there's, there's cheesy dosa, there's uh, curds and curry. You can have spicy buttermilk like we had for lunch, or this masala tea, which is just full of such rich, rich cow's milk. So the afternoon is still rolling. We got back in our beautiful transportation. We call it the Smile Bus. It says Smile on it, and it is a bus. We are a little bit early. The sun is still up, but the action is starting. Look how cool the scenario is here. And just imagine, so soon, all these chairs are gonna be filling up. Actually, some people have come for some early snacks next to the university, maybe some students who know what's up. So he has this awesome like food truck. You can see the blue huge van right behind me and the chef is preparing some ingredients. I don't know, could you call him a chef or just call him a genius? <laughs> Thank you, man. Look at that. Hey, man. USA. I mean, I think no one could really argue too much with me if I said that India is just the ultimate when it comes to street food. You might even say street food is defined by how street food is in India. It's what everything else compares to. It's what you're always up against. And so us here hanging out at 5 p.m., you know we are 
close to approaching something great. I was busy walking around getting the atmosphere and just like telling you how excited I was to be here. Actually, the chef is already at work. This guy cooking inside, he's making up some amazing things. So this first chat, I have the privilege of sharing with you almost a genre of Indian food all on its own. You won't believe how delicious some of the street food snacks around here are. So this chat focuses on puffed rice, but it has this awesomely sour, like a raw salad, featuring green mango on the top. Let's taste. There is even boiled egg going in. Yeah. A genius addition of the boiled egg. The fresh red onion and the cilantro. Martin, you might say those are like necessary ingredients of chaat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so uh, somewhat like bale only. It's a variation of bale puri, what you will find in North India. Mm -hmm. And I love the fresh green mango on top. It's just, and the dish is just so beautiful. Quick snack, but so delicious. It never fails. Chaat is like a cuisine all on its own. The puffed rice is really light. It's actually the perfect base for a dish like this because you can eat a lot of it. It doesn't really fill you up, but it holds so much flavor. The dish is spicy at first, like a gentle peppery, but it hits in the back of your throat after a few bites. And then the, the fresh red onions are also spicy. It's warm, there is masala spice at work in there. And then the egg, it just boosts up the richness. It's so great, you have the freshness from coriander. The tomatoes give a nice sourness, but I love that green mango. That is the highlight of this dish for me. Uh, the green mango and the, the egg, that's a great combo. Hmm. There's some peanuts too. This afternoon is just gorgeous. The light right now, perfect. The colors just popping. It's that golden hour for photographs, but it's also the golden hour for street food. Because as the night is young and the skies get dark, things just come alive. And no place in the world does street food like India. We're gonna eat a lot of it tonight. <laughs> it's uh, about a 15 minute drive. We're gonna go find some street food, a few dishes lined up, and then, yes, then dinner time. Fourth meal of the day, not counting any snacks. And we have uh, ice cream. Now we're gonna have some, yeah, street snacks, which means it's just a beautiful day. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is so fun. <laughs> Let's go.